And now the latest scores and highlights from across the River Region. This is Evening Edition Sports. The regular season starts up for both the SIU men's and women's basketball teams this weekend. The women open up their season on the road against UT Martin tomorrow night at 6.30. Last Friday showed promise for the women's team as they won their exhibition game over Quincy and hope the team can ride that momentum into the regular season. The men's team also start the regular season on the road as they start their three-game road trip starting with St. Louis University. The men's team also started their preseason on a strong note, winning both of their exhibition games. The men's team will tip off their regular season Saturday night at 7. Saluki Volleyball hits the road this weekend to play two conference matchups. With just three regular season games left before the MVC Conference Tournament, Salukis currently have a record of 14 and 13. The team plays at Missouri State on Friday night and then on the road again to play Wichita State on Saturday night. The MVC Scholar Athlete of the Week, Alex Rivera, gave her best defensive performance last Saturday and will help lead her team to a strong finish on the season. The SIU cross country teams head to Peoria tomorrow to compete in the NCAA Midwest Regional Meet. The men's trio Michael Castell, Oscar Medina, and Juan Carrera set pace last weekend at the MVC Championships and look to do so again tomorrow. The women's team will be sending Sadie Darnell, Kelly Gallagher, Kristen Levy, and Kristen Mangini. The top two teams from each race will advance to the national meet on November 22nd. The Slukies return to Carbondale for their last home game of the season. SIU is set to go head-to-head -head against the University of Northern Iowa this Saturday. The Dogs have won eight consecutive home games against their Missouri Valley rival Panthers. SIU will honor uh, seniors prior to the game. Senior Michael Pruitt is a mere six catches away from setting a new school record in career receptions. Salukis have won the last 12 Senior Day games and hope to keep that streak going. Kickoff is set for 2 o'clock this Saturday. Things are heating up in the IHSA as the IHSA moves into the quarterfinals in the 2014 playoff series. The number one seeded Carterville Lions host the number three seeded Heron Tigers in their Class 4A quarterfinal matchup. The Qu Carterville has not lost a game this season and will be a tough team for Heron to beat. Uh, you know, want to keep moving on and, and you know extend the season to, you know, the, the great thing about this game is one team out of the River River Conference is going to be playing the semifinals, represent Illinois, a chance to go to a state championship game. The game will be held at Carterville High School at 1 p.m. on this Saturday. The winner of the game will take on either Bloomington Central Catholic or defending state champions Rochester. Week 11 is underway in the NFL. Coming up on Sunday, the Rams host Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos at noon on, on CBS. And the Bears will look to redeem themselves after an embarrassing loss to the Packers last weekend as they host the Vikings at Soldier Field. Kickoff is also set for noon. New information has come of the death of Cardinals outfielder Oscar Taveras. It was found Taveras had a blood alcohol level of over five times the Dominican Republic legal limit at the time of the accident on October 23rd. Taveras' girlfriend was also killed in the accident. The St. Louis Blues return to action tonight at the host of Nashville Predators at the Scott Trade Center. The Blues are currently second place in the Central Division and hope to steal the number one spot back from the Predators. Meanwhile, the Chicago Blackhawks travel to Detroit to take on the Red Wings tomorrow night. The Hawks are currently uh, in third, on a two-game winning streak in the third place in the division. The Hawks game starts at 6.30 tomorrow on Comcast Sportsnet, while the Blues game is on Fox Sports Midwest tonight at 7. So what do you expect uh, for Saluki football this weekend? Well, like I said earlier, they've uh, won 12 straight Senior Day games, so we're going to keep that streak going for another 13th season. Right. I like the prediction, Sean. Yeah. Thank you.